previously on The Plot Thickens. Scrag, you got any butt bones? Yeah, I have a whole collection. Okay. Yeah. Well, at See, least Scrag. So this is the butt bone from a dragonborn that came uh, back Scrag, in uh, 72. Scrag, you around your entire bone collection? No, well, that's not the whole bone collection. This you is just the butt bones. It back at home. Why are you carrying around the butt bones, Craig? I mean, just in case. It like, seems it like they come up of, a lot more often than the other bones. Bag of holding. Oh yeah. Scrag, you you have a bag of holding? Did you Scrag got it off of butt bones in it. Well, see, Scrag got this bag from one of the adventurers who came through back in '67, and it was uh, a, a wizard guy. He said to Strag, hey, um, is this the right door to go through to go fight the boss? And I said, yes. And he said, thank you. Hold this bag for me. And he went through the door that I said was to the boss, but it was actually the Sphere of Annihilation door. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I like that. Scrag, you're a genius. That's very good. It's okay. very good. That's really very good, impressed. yeah. Wow. Yeah. The only sad part of that story is because he went through the Sphere of Annihilation, I didn't get his butt bone. Hello, and welcome to this episode of Wasting All the Time, a podcast level three. This is our ongoing uh, long form format show, The Plot Thickens, in which we uh, check in with the same group of interesting individuals on a uh, biweekly basis and see what is going on in their lives. Our current story uh, follows the, uh, what do we call them, adventures? Probably not. A group of um, hench individuals. Yeah, hench individuals. Uh, their job is to um, uh, clean up their uh, particular level of this mega dungeon complex uh, after adventurers uh, get mangled and dismembered and smooshed in various ways uh, in the uh, the fun traps. There, we have myself playing Scrag the Kobold. We have Dave playing Steve the Skeleton. Uh, Jess is Marlene the human, and Cody is Artie the uh, blob thing. Yeah, I'm not wow. doing it. Sorry. Wow. And you're you're super <laughs> flemmy already. It should be easy. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> not doing it. And uh, yeah, so we're going to check in with them. If uh, if you have not been keeping up with these episodes, I do recommend you go back to uh, episode one. Uh, unless you're the kind of person that really enjoys being confused, in which case, uh, yeah, just hang out here and we will uh, confuse you. Honestly, we might confuse you if you even if you have been here since episode one. But uh, that's for uh, you to find out and us to facilitate. So without further ado, let's all sit back, relax as the plot thickens. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the this bone and that bone, and uh, I'd, well, we'll do this bone with that one. And, Did uh, you find it yet, Scrag? Uh, ju- uh, um, uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah. So this is the uh, the 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 Triceratops skull that I was gonna put uh, uh, on. Uh, we're gonna yeah. use it as like kind of a hat for you. Uh huh. <laughs> I would love that. Yeah. So I've been looking through. Uh, yeah, I got a a letter from my uncle Rathbud, and uh, yeah, there's you know he's he's mostly not a necromancer, but he knows enough stuff. You know, he's mostly an evocation guy, so it's really just illusion stuff that he's not good at. So, but uh-huh. the, the necromancy stuff, yeah, he gave me a couple tips, and I think with the right potion, uh, yeah, we could we could have you, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, I mean, I think it's a terrible idea and I don't trust that you'll be successful at all, but I've just gotten to this point yeah. of desperation where, you know, I'm just willing to try anything, you know? <laughs> well, I really appreciate you taking a shot on me then. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, uh, I'm sure there are other better opportunities out there, but I just, I don't want to, you know, have to go work to get them. So... <laughs> yeah, I, I'm excited. I, I'm excited. This is something that could really bring us closer together. So yeah, yeah, we just have to figure out the balance issues. Yeah, the Triceratops skull is is pretty heavy. Yeah, and I am worried that my vertebrae will just turn to powder under it. But um, well, I've got extra vertebrae. See, 
You think of everything, Scrag. Actually, yeah, that, that reminds me. Yeah, I do have, uh, I did pull some, some, um, Brachiosaur, uh, vertebrae. Oh, wow. So I figure we could maybe first we replace some of your spine with these. Uh-huh. And then, um, yeah, I don't know how the necromancy really works, uh, with, with like your skull. <laughs> like if we can just change them out. Yeah. Or, or if like. There, if, if your consciousness is housed in the skull, because your eyes do glow. They do. <laughs> that might be consciousness. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to read some of the notes, but uh I'm I'm pretty sure one of these one of these wizard types that comes through is gonna have some kind of something. Yeah. Well, I mean, we could focus on the neck first. I mean, that's that's surely gonna work. You know, that's, that should be the easiest part to 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 do yeah yeah i think so it's just like a straight line right yeah well and isn't that what the whole this whole field of magic is about straight lines the neck oh oh necromancy yeah it's 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 necro is in dead things yeah no oh (laughs) huh I guess I'm still interested. Good, good, because um, yeah. Those, I, like concept... you said, I don't think there's any other options for you at this point. Yeah, no, and and uh, and you know the concept art that you drew, uh, you scraped into the wall. That was that was just so nice that uh, I kind of can't get the idea of the three horns, uh, rocking the three horns out of my out of my skull. So yeah. That's yeah. that's pretty cool. I'm committed to it. I'm committed. When are we going to do this? Well, I mean, as soon as you're uh, available, I guess. Okay, I'm not yet, but um, uh, I'll 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 let you know for sure. I uh, I've got a lot of uh, things on my plate uh, until I'm not scared anymore. So, uh, yeah, anytime. Once I'm free, ah, Steve, Steve, there you are. Excellent. Oh, I'm very wow. happy I found you. Very, very happy I found you. We just had a most delightful calamity. An entire party's worth of, um, what, what do you call them? They're like humans, but half as tall. A bunch of them just hey. died on like the wow. third floor. There's so much to clean up. That You're is not busy, a, are you? That's a great calamity. Um, yeah. I am really busy right now as far as cleaning is concerned. <laughs> um, oh. I oh, was actually thinking on? of going back down uh to the uh to the entrance hall. Mm-hmm. Um yeah. Cuz I heard that was cleaned already, so I was going to check that out. Oh. Uh okay. Well then you can I mean the entrance hall is right there. I just I'm sorry, I'm very very excited. This is so many so many bodies. There's so many things to clean up. They think of the loot. Yeah. Think of the loot they might have. Think of yeah. the all oh, the pockets and the bits and the bobs. Yeah, Scrag, no, I'm loot, surprised you're not down there already. Loot's great. Yeah. Did, did it look like there's any wizard types? Do half humans have wizards? I don't know. Half humans? They, they're like humans, but half is tall. I can't remember what you what you what you call them. Children? No, 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 no. That's no, 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 no. They, um, there, I mean, there there might be a few of those. I, I, I there are there honest, are a couple. Well, there are a couple. I no, saw yeah, um, a couple of hairy feet. A couple of wizards. Um, they oh! eat a lot. Oh yeah, yeah. halflings. Yeah. yeah. Uh, halflings, yeah, really? There's... I thought it was more clever than that, but I guess we'll go with that. No. Well, no. there, there, there was a better name for them, but there were some legal issues with it. <laughs> but the yeah, uh, uh, anybody have a rag or a towel? I do. I do. I do. Uh, do oh. you want uh 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 uh, uh, an absorbent rag or like a wipey rag? I need, I need, I just need to wipe the blood off my face. That's okay, here's a wipey about. rag. Thank you. I don't know why you bother. Uh, it's... How'd all that blood get there, Marlene? Oh, how does blood get anywhere, really? Have you and Susie been out um, doing the chops again? Nope. 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 No? Nope. You yep. sure? Yeah. No. I preempted. Yep. What? What? <laughs> Has it? Scrag, I just know that there's some wizards there, down there, that you might uh, 
enjoy their loot and their components. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to mm. I'm trying to collect spell books so we can help Steve. Well, I I think I might have seen what maybe one got cut in half by a large sword, but I don't know. Um, Marlene, you haven't been interfering um, with the traps, have you? No, why would I? Why would I do that? Marlene. That's against the rules. It is. It is against the rules to intercede between an adventurer and a trap. I I did not intercede between any adventurer and any trap. I maybe, maybe, just to spin it, just to give you my pov. All right, give us the spin. I was going to get a sandwich. I went out to get a sandwich. And when I come back, I'm trying to go to the break room on the fourth floor. Yeah. And there were some individuals that may or may not have recognized me. And I may or may not have not wanted to be recognized. Oh. And I just wanted my sandwich. Yeah. You keep saying sandwich, but you're gesturing mm-hmm. holding a taco. A sandwich. <laughs> I mean, it's got two sides. Yeah. I guess it's not really a sandwich, is it? Because it's more like a sub. It's like a closed up open face sandwich. No, it's like a submarine. It's like, they, they say it's a sandwich, but it's not really a sandwich. No, it's it? like a canoe version of a submarine. It's a, it, yeah. Scrag, Scrag, what are they talking about? What is this? What is this? Oh, it's, it's, it's food. I'm really interested in food. I just wanted a sandwich. I just wanted a sandwich, but, um. But it's Tuesday. Yeah, so I got a taco instead. That's just how that goes. And. I've forgotten all about anything else we were talking about. I'm going to oh, get good, a Triceratops good. skull. Oh, great. Yeah. Oh, you're finally going on forward on with that. Uh-huh. Oh, eventually. Yeah. Your, your vertebrae are not going to um, turn into powder, right? That was the big, that was the big concern, yes? Maybe. I'm going to change him out for breakfast or ber- vertebrae. Yeah, we we're going to do the neck stuff. That's what necromancy is, right? I don't have a neck, so I, it, that makes sense to me. No, it's it, necromancy deals with the undead. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's what Scrag said. I mean, not just yeah. the undead. Technically, technically, necromancy encompasses many different uh, uh, types of magic that you wouldn't necessarily associate with necromancy. Like most healing spells are technically necromancy spells because you're <laughs> you're dealing with life and death energy, um, positive, negative, um, and like. Um, uh, like when the clerics use raised dead, that's necromancy. Uh, only like uh, the, you know the the kind of pretty good kind, not like the one that makes zombies. But um, you know, uh, it's all about. Do you know marketing. what it costs to do that though? Raise the dead. It's pricey. Oh yeah, I you see them diamond. disintegrate those diamonds all the time. <laughs> they do die in here a lot. <laughs> they do. They do. They and did you ever they think too. then like when a person gives another person a uh, a diamond ring, what they're really saying is, hey, if I die, resurrect me. That's, That's eminently practical. That would wow. make a lot of sense. That would explain a lot of your very weird human traditions. Yes. I like that. That's very good. Because humans are so fragile and easily murdered. Not 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 you individually. Marlene. Yeah, so are halflings. Uh, yes, oh, 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 that's right. Thank you. I had forgotten. Oh, there's so many halflings bodies. Did you just call them half halflings? Half halflings. Half yes, halflings. Halflings. Ha, ha, it's, there's ha, an L in it, right? Ha, half half. Ha, no. It, ha, ha, no. It's not. Ha, a, no. It's not a hard L. No. It's no. Like L. No. <laughs> Is, am I doing it right, Steve? No. 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 It's a half, half. halfling. Okay, okay. Halfling. 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 Okay. halfling. Well, then, there is a delightful number of halfling corpses on level three. 
So if we get to the halflings soon, we can get through all of their belongings. I just, I just I'm trying to understand. I don't that. understand why you're, where you're pulling out like little gelatin hands when you say halflings <laughs> that's what, every time. That's what Steve did as he, as he explained it to me. I mean, oh, he had true. skeleton hands. I don't have any bones to make hands within me at the moment, so I have to improvise so, with so true. the gelatin hands. That was improvised? Wow. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. That's I, I do my good. best. Looked rehearsed. <laughs> oh, do go on. Vladimir. Yes. Yes. Okay, I think I I've got everything. Got okay. Everything. All the loot from level three. Oh, good. What? Good. You got it all? Oh. Scrap uh, already? I just used my portable hole while you guys were talking. Just you grabbed stuff. Portable hole? Yeah, yeah. I've got, yeah, I've got a few. Is that like a submarine? I, I, it's like a bag of holding, except you can't put it in a bag of holding. Otherwise, <laughs> things explode. Oh. Wait, you didn't just. You can put a bag of holding in a portable hole, uh, but you can't put a portable hole in a bag of holding. It's a one way kind of thing. Right. So I, I've, I've just got two questions. But if it, the first question is uh, you didn't. Did you just push all of the halflings into the portable hole? Well, I just, I put the portable hole down and I just uh -huh. reached through uh -huh. Uh -huh. and I grabbed the, the stuff off the halflings. All right. Uh, because second question, uh -huh. uh, no offense, Adi, but you don't really understand how or humanoid bodies work half the time. If you remember the cafeteria incident last week. Um, mm. did you make sure that all the halflings were dead? Mm. Well, they, they weren't moving, so when an uh, or they could have been, they could have been comatose, they could, there's a lot yeah. of, that's why I'm asking Scrag, Scrag, did you oh, make yes. sure the halflings were dead? Oh, goodness. I mean, there was one that was still kind of twitching and foaming at the mouth, but I think that's the poison. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then the other one, uh, there was another one that was like, um, uh, I, I, I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm not really good at, um, uh, physiology, um, which has been challenging with the necromancy, but, um, uh, <laughs> oh he boy. was in, um, four pieces. And so I think that you, yeah. you don't, they can't survive that. Um, and then another one was in two pieces and then another one was, um, all in one piece, but it was like really smushed. Um, and then the other one, uh, was also one piece, but lots of holes. Oh, I liked that one. That was good. That was a good one. Okay. All right. I'm just, it sounds then like that, uh, there were no survivors. That's all I care about. <laughs> so. I'm just glad it's all clean. I don't have to do anything. That's still pretty messy. Oh, uh, actually, I think I lost my blood. coin purse in the cart. Uh, again? Oh, um, I, uh, well, I saw you caught uh, oh, oh. as I was going to the break room on the fourth, fourth <laughs> floor. It was on the third floor. In fact, they stopped. They stopped at the cart because they saw a pat. They, they saw a pouch of gold. Oh no, they always oh, no. say don't oh, leave no. your pouch where they it can be your seen. That's that's a terrible, yeah. terrible idea. Oh. Everything was just kind of out in the open there. Well, it wasn't really, you know, it wasn't out in the open, open, but it was down one of the side corridors, you know, one of the, the ones that we take between the third and the fourth floor to get to the break room on the fourth floor. And yeah, backstage. They kind of just, just like enticed them there, you know? They're not supposed to be back there. They're, they're not. They don't have any doors only there. See, exactly. Is, That's why I'm saying everything I did was in self-defense and not because one of them recognized me. Yeah. Recognized you from where? Nowhere. From, not from the they before didn't. times? They should not have been in the employee tunnels. That goes against, that goes against it does. dungeon protocol. Yeah. The big evil bad guy does not like that. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Doesn't like it. Uh, Marlene, doesn't like it. I'm just, I'm concerned for you now that somebody knew you from somewhere and they were in the back tunnels. This is, um, perilous at best. I think we're fine. I, I, 
I, I mean, Scrag just described all of them. So I don't think any of them had like a teleportation spell or anything to whisk out. That's why I shrinked the, uh, the one book I saw. Sorry, you what? Assumed. You did hmm? what to it? I sh- Well, I didn't. I didn't. I guess technically Susie did. But uh, what does what does what does that mean? What is that arm gesture? That shunk. 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 I yes, I shunk. I shunked it in half. And now I had that before. Was there an enormous release of energy, or? <sighs> well, I just think I. I I just figured if you if you cut the book in half, then they can't do any of the spells. Yeah. Did you ever? I did stop a nice a... clean cut too. Nice clean cut right through oh, the binding. That's... Actually, I think that might be worse. Because oh, of oh. cut, okay. Yeah. Because then you have sh- two books of half spells. Oh no! And they all halflings. Halflings. I don't know. I don't know if it works that way. Halflings. Long. I'm going to get there. I'm going you to get there. You did the Steve. hands again. <laughs> I. That's how it's pronounced. That's how Steve did it. That's how I have to do it now. I'm really links. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> wow. Imitation. I, I. It's important. It's important when working with them of the lesser beings to understand yeah. how they communicate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like one of them. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. It's it's delightful, Steve. Thank you. I appreciate you. You are helping me expand my knowledge. And so, okay. So yeah, according I, to the book, um the the, the bottom right. half of the book here, um <laughs> the there is a teleport station spell um that someone knew and uh the material components are uh uh a uh, uh, blue chalk circle um and some uh and a lizard bladder. So um, I did see a blue chalk sh- circle uh, by the uh, by the, the the halflings. So, um, but I didn't see a liver. But that might be consumed during the spell. So I don't know. Um, like as a party trick? <laughs> I guess sort of. Like the magic eats it. Uh huh. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be everything. Will be fine. It'll yeah, be probably. Fine. I'm sure this will have no repercussions. I don't oh. see how it could. I don't. I don't see it. I don't see it. I mean, sure. On the <laughs> second floor is where you fight all of those lizard, those lizard creations. So they could have potentially been knee deep in the lizard <clears throat> lizard guts. How many people was it? How many? Halflings? Uh, it was, um, I think it was, uh, there was seven, six halflings. Seven, yeah. Right. It was six. Unless I miscounted the pieces. Maybe, maybe the, maybe the pieces got miscounted, right? You said four, but they're half tall. So maybe really half and half. Yeah. Yeah. Half half that's lately. probably it. Right. Is that, that maths. Uh, that maths. Yeah. And besides, it's not like they're going to get past level five. No. No. No, no, no. You can't get past level five all on your own. (laughs) No, no, no. 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 It's never been done. Ridiculous. A ridiculous assertion. Oh, yeah. No, it has been done. What? What? Thanks, Artie. Oh, that's right. That uh, there was that rogue or something named Assertation. Oh, that was cheating. That was nonsense. I, ugh, I'm i very upset. Look, I'm making arms just to fold in front of myself. That's upsetting. I, I, I see. And I've never seen you, like, use your little shrimp friends as eyebrows to angrily go down. I just what learned I about eyebrows? angry eyebrows. And the shrimp are perfect. Look. Mmm. Right. Or it can be. Yeah, or can be I, oh. Ooh, oh. Or, the, oh. Mm. You can oh, do right. so many faces mm-hmm. now just yes. with eyebrows. Really yeah. expressive shrimp. Yes. Yeah. But wow. yeah, uh, that's that uh, rogue is the reason that you're you're on on our team, right, Erdy? Because he got past you. <sighs> yes. Because you kind of held the gate open for him. It wasn't okay. Listen, listen. He was very convincing, and I 
can't tell all of you bone bags apart. I thought he worked for us, and he said something about needing to reset something. I just honestly had stopped listening. Yeah. I was not paying attention. I, he was very charming, very convincing, and and he, he he held up a badge, but you can't read, so you didn't know it was no. fake. The human languages make no sense. It's just squiggles. Yeah. Or, I mean, or and bipedal languages at that at that mat. And I mean, it's just unfortunate, right? Because that was just about the time that uh, the boss said we should carry badges around to get entry into places. So you see, it's hardly my fault. Exactly, mm-hmm. the badge program was going to be something very good. good I- it, it was yeah, it was, it was a good idea. It was abused. Already, it's I think okay. having the blood flactories are better. Yeah. You are socially engineered. It's fine. It happens to the best of us. It did happen to the best of us. Me. Which just goes to show how deceptive humans can be. That's why I have such a difficult time trusting anything with legs or arms or bones. But I like you, Steve. We've been through this. We understand. We, we, have, our, we have our connection. Yes. Thanks. Yeah. And I do plan yeah. on getting a butt again someday. That's I good. I'm happy for you. Life goals. Wait, are you getting... Are you getting more memories? Like maybe that you had a what type of what you had before? Yeah, I kind of just it just kind of came out of the blue one day. I was standing around, not doing anything, and I just suddenly remembered what it felt like. And it's just kind of, you know, I liked it. Hmm. So I want I kind of want to reclaim that that experience, you know? Mhm. Mhm. Hmm. What, do you, what are you going to do with it once you have it? Um, I want to grip it. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to sit on it. And, uh, I don't know. Maybe run, run some, like, sit in a, in a creek or something. Sit in a creek. Seems uh, okay, cool. Okay, excellent. It does. It does. I, it, yeah. it, it sounds very exciting. If you do that, would you, would you share the experience with me? Would you let me know what it, what it is like? Oh, yeah. I, I fully expect you to be along with me on all these butt adventures. Oh, I love butt adventures. Ever since you started being nice to me, I just feel like, you know, <laughs> go with it. Take, follow this thread as long as it goes. I, yes. I, I, even being the purest of all beings, there is always room for improvement, as I have learned. I, I I am the best, but I can always get better, and and, and I have. And you are yeah. You are my you got shrimp for friend. eyebrows. Shrimp brows. Shrimp brows. Did you know that the glowing in me is my consciousness? I did not. Yeah. I had another thing to the list. It's Interesting things true. about my friend Steve. Yeah. It's exciting. Fascinating. Fascinating. So much to learn. So much to. Learn. I almost said so little time, but uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be here a while. Yeah. Do you even age? Well, when you get down to the the nitty gritty or the slimy wimy, as we say, I have technically a, a set of protoplasm uh, alleles that reproduce upon a chain of themselves, and when that set, well, I guess alleles is the closest thing to you have with the human uh, uh, systems that you have. It is. Um, more, more, more closely related to dendrites because I am, I am preternaturally more intelligent than basically everything. So it's a slimy, wimy dendrites that reproduce upon themselves and kind of branch out into different forms. And eventually, those dendrites themselves start to kind of, um, well, it's 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 considered pejorative in, in slime culture, but they dry out. Ugh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I had to swear in front of all of you. But once those, uh, you know, go the way of that, so you dry out. Yeah. And then you're dead. No, no, no. Just the just the specific parts. I make new ones. I'm constantly making new ones. That's the thing. I'm constantly making oh. new ones. And so when the old ones go away, then I make new ones constantly. So I guess technically, uh, sorry to bring it back to your original inquiry. I do age, but I age infinitely. Yeah. Uh, so Artie, like, I really feel like you are straining to make this more relatable and understandable. And I'm straining. I don't know. Like, usually you're good at things, but not this. 
I'm lost. Thank you. Can you go back to the part about the um, alleles or whatever? We you know, we left alleles behind. Alleles was not quite a, yeah, a, I, a contextual left metaphor. Behind with it, so. Ah, um, or we could see, talk about I, something else. How, how can I put this? Uh, you guys tried the cafeteria food lately? It's getting better. <laughs> I mean, the the taco was. The part of it that I got to eat was pretty good. But it didn't get blood on it. Well, I mean, that part was still a little fine, too. <laughs> but, you know. Still a little fine. <laughs> Which part of a taco is your favorite? Mine's the shell. Oh, the crunch, yeah. Yeah. If you're going to get a taco... Like, I guess it depends what type of taco you get, right? Like, Honestly, that's kind of why I like the shell, because it doesn't matter what kind. Oh, but They're that's what good. I'm saying. There's different yeah. there's different types of shells. There's like what? the crunchy shell, and then there's a soft shell. Oh, wow. Yeah. I wish I could taste it. Tiny shells, big shells. Oh. I mean, I think my favorite part is probably the crunchy shell. I like a good crunchy taco shell. But then, like, at the same time, then it's basically just hand nachos, right? Probably. Hand nachos, yeah. Yeah, because you carry a, a hard, crunchy shell taco in your hand, and it's got everything in it that you'd put on nachos. Yeah. And it's oh. te technically a giant mm -hmm. nacho that's been wrapped around itself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These are really great observations. Yeah. Do you, Scry, can you, can you track somebody? Can you track people that do teleportation spells? I mean, I'll have to look through the book, but I, I think so, yeah. Okay. You know, because they have, the circle has these runes on it, and I think the runes, right. um, they, they translate to where they wanted to go. Um, like, um, I think it's longitude, latitude. So, um, if I'm reading it right, um, according to this, they went to, um, uh-oh. Uh-oh? <laughs> I don't like uh-ohs. They went to level 169. Oh. How oh. do they even know where, how do they even know the, the latitude, longitude of 169? I don't know. That's. Um. Oh, this is bad. Yeah. This is real so bad. So actually, I might have had something to do with that. Please Steven. do not tell me that you had it in the pouch. Steve. Yeah. Steve. I keep getting lost when I go for my <sighs> memorial marches. And I just had to start to, you know, I know you're not supposed to make any maps or diagrams, but I kept getting lost, so I had to. <sighs> it's specifically Steve. called the lost unnavigable dungeon for a reason steve yeah, yeah. i figured the that was LMD. good enough supposed to stay on the dl <laughs> the dungeon level yeah <laughs> we steve the worst part about this though is it means we're going to kill you <laughs> oh no am i ruining things <laughs> that's a bit of a ruin yeah uh, oh, Skag. Greg, yeah. Can you get a raise undead to dead undead spell ready so that we can kill our friend Steve here for his egregious, grievous, his terrible mistake? Yeah, I think and I, I just have bring a, him back. I think I have a scroll somewhere here. <laughs> All right, we'll wait. Please, Steve. <laughs> I'm sorry. I knew this was going to happen. Okay. Would it make well, anything guess... better if I went into a power pose? <laughs> I mean, it would expose your chest, so it would be easier to crush it. <laughs> that is not a single power mm. pose I showed you ever. I don't know. <laughs> it's hard. You haven't even pressed some of the power poses. Oh, Steve. 
you know, I feel okay about this, though, because we've got Scrag here, and he's a fantastic magic person. Somehow. And he's going to bring you back, and uh, we don't lose a friend, and nothing, there will be no repercussions from this. There will be no consequences at all. I don't see any consequences. Okay, here we go. One scroll of Ray's dead. That work? Okay. I mean... Will, will it work, Craig? What do you I mean, it, it, it will make him not alive as a skeleton anymore. Yeah, that was going to be my main concern. He's a skeleton. If you raise dead on his, I guess, double corpse, he will not be a skeleton anymore? I don't know. I've never really tried it out. It's sort of a gray area where necromancy is concerned. <laughs> oh, I deserve to be this punished. This is why I never went to school. <laughs> school is confusing. I can't live in this limbo. I d One way or another, we got to go. We got to do this thing. All right. We have, it's the pact. It's the pact. And, and if we kill you now, then the three of us don't get killed. Yeah. Because that good for nothing yes. halfling made it down to level 169, right? Right. Halfling. Halfling. The hands. It's the ha Now the troop are getting in on it, and I just don't know what to think anymore. Mm. I'm practicing. Okay, Steve. Yeah. Are you ready? I Let me be your escape goat. I'm ready. <laughs> okay. I think this is going to work. I feel really good about this. I've done a lot of good killing today, and I think this will be just fine. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to do one big shunk. All right. Any any last words? If it works, I don't want to hear them. Great. Uh, shunk. <laughs> all right. All right. Or right, okay, Scrag. So I'll bring him back. Okay. Uh, I'll bring him back. Hamina, Hamina, Requiet. Hoi, hoi, hoi. In the middle. With a cappuccino. These are weird. <laughs> and go! <laughs> Ding! Oh, shit, dude. Oh, no, no, no. A, a, a <laughs> cappuccino. <laughs> These are really weird. <laughs> <laughs> Is that part of it? <laughs> Everyone has their own magic words. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, dude. The weave is a mystery. <laughs> what an interesting tapestry we have woven. <laughs> I'll say. Dave, thank you for being cool, played along with. Yeah! Me yeah. imitating. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that was so much fun! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. And that is where we will leave our um, hench individuals this week. Oh. Um, <laughs> make sure you uh, tune in uh, next time to the plot thickens uh, where we will uh, find out where things go from here. You know, for example, you know, will, uh, you know, what will be the uh, repercussions of casting Ray's dead on Steve? Will uh, Scrag's correspondence course in necromancy uh, continue paying dividends? Will uh, Marlene rec start recognizing that uh, she and Susie have a problem? And uh, will Artie uh, master that, uh, that, hand and shrimp thing find out the answer to these questions and more on the next episode of the plot thickens yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> congratulations you've made it to the end of another episode of wasting all the time an improv comedy podcast if you enjoyed the show, be sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts and Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. If you really enjoyed the show, support us at patreon.com slash timewastepod or go to wastingallthetime.com. Yeah.